<laughs> Look at what the cat is. What's up, Seaworder? How you feeling? Good, good. How you feeling? Good, good. Feel like I haven't seen you in a minute. I know, I know. Where man. you been? Where you be hiding from me? Rocking. I'm your superstar. I know it. I know it. Why am I just rocking and roll? Get all together. I know you've been having an eventful last couple of months. What's, what's happening? Oh, what, man. To what do I owe the honor? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So much has been happening. I feel like I've been tra traveling a lot. I feel like this is probably the most I've traveled like, in so long. Like, back to back. Yeah. Back and forth. But last week, it was just too much. It was mentally drained. Emotionally drained. Yeah. Because it was, it was just... It was just a lot going on, and I feel like because I am a public figure, they're expecting me to address everything, but I can't do that. It's not, I mean, I can, but I choose not to, because it's like, wow, like, it's just more draining. Yeah. But it's like, think about it. This whole situation with Corey and trolling and this and the third, it's like, well, first, like, how you felt when you saw that I met with him? When you met with Corey, I thought I I think you know me. I'm all I'm all about family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like even when I got my divorce with my ex wife, you know we ended. You know, thank God amicably. But the our big picture was the kids and just to show them how good of a partnership we can maintain. So with Corey, I know what y'all been through. You know what I'm saying? Was a part of it. I mean, you a lot to lose. Mm -hmm. So he was acting out in a way. You know what I'm saying? You probably had some moments, but you, but I think you being the bigger person like okay he's still the father of my kids so yeah. we need to try to be at least you know what i'm saying even if we ain't friends all the way we need to be amicable mm -hmm. if nothing else but for them so i i didn't think nothing was wrong with that i do think that it, the way it kind of came out was a little because yeah, even when i seen the the jackets i'm like what but then you know you was like no a brand, you said something about a brand gave y'all the jackets to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That, that makes sense, <laughs> but it just, the way it came out, everybody was like, oh shit. You know yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be too much if it would have been like, it's still wearing the jacket, but not like together under each other. Yeah, yeah. And then like maybe me over there, him over here, it'd probably been like a it different would, story. It would have been a different story. Yeah. But it's like, think about it, like, I'm trying to just like, I feel like I have been going to like my little space by myself. Mm -hmm. So I have been trying to just like, not really much care about what people are saying. Because yeah. based on, on last weekend, everybody just like, well, Carmen, he said this about you. He said that. He exposed this. He exposed that. But it's like, damn, like, they messed up our bodies. Even though after that, it's like, he's still the father of my kids. You know? So it's like, regardless of what has been said or exposed, it's like, we're going to have to talk one day. We're going to have to yeah. be in the same room one day. Yeah. When CJ have a revenge, like, he's going to have to be there. You know? So yeah. I feel like... Even though, like, yeah, we, we are not together. We are not back together. Let me say back. We are not yeah. back together. But he's he's a troll. Yeah. So I feel like because of him trolling and me not saying nothing, is making people believe him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he posted that he was in the same hotel. So he posted the picture. And when I posted my picture, like, I'm with Ebony and I'm telling Ebony, like, should I post it? Should I? Like, we live in the hotel, in the restaurant, in the mix of me, like, selecting my pictures yeah. but i'm not thinking about corey i'm not keeping what he posted on his story in my mind like i'm not so when i posted it was like oh wait this is the same hotel da, da, da. like how, how did, did he get, end up? how did he get the address to the hotel it's a story i'm telling you like i can't see like i can't make a video and explain every situation right. but like we was at the bar in the hotel it was at the bar it was me kayla cat and ebony it was mm -hmm. all at the bar then the old bodyguard and I don't know if you remember him, the old bodyguard. Yeah. So, well, the old wannabe bodyguard. He came and, you know, said hey to me. He was like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, good. He said, are you here by yourself? Or are you like, what, like who you with? I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm with my manager. And I pointed at Ebony. So he was like, oh, okay, well, nice to see you, see. And he left. But in the mix of him leaving, Ebony's peeping that, like, he's still staying around, texting. And so I move, go to the restroom to see what he do. He's watching, like, literally watching and reporting. So I was like, okay. I, f I instantly felt like, I was like, he's going to call Corey. Like, he's just going to call Corey and tell Corey, like, hey, guess what? I just found in the hotel. So he snitched. Yeah, he snitched. Because guess what? The next morning or the same night, I believe, like, Corey's in the lobby. So it's like, we didn't sleep in the same room, but all the rooms in the hotels are the same. So the fact that it's like people trying to like circle, oh, this is the same bottle, this is the same shower. 
Of course, it's the same hotel, right, but we right. didn't spend the night in right. the same room. And I feel like I feel like my irritation comes from I can't sit here and explain every damn thing to everybody, cause it's like it, it's it's kind of pointless and it's just draining yeah, to keep explaining myself. And then like people are still gonna believe what they want to believe. That's a fact. Like right now, they're just thinking I'm just still dumb for just being cordial or trying to be cordial with the father of my kids. Well, you know, like. It, it's not the way, you know, perception is really reality. Like, if I set a six right here, a six right here, and if I see a six, what you see? A nine. You see a nine. So it's it's kind of one of them things that you just kind of, before you make a move, unfortunately, just because you are in the limelight, you got to think about, okay, how would this look to the, the fans people. or to the people? Yeah, because you don't mean no harm. You're just trying to do the right, you know, right thing. That's what I always loved about you. You really... If it was up to you, you'd be a housewife and just your kids. And that's one thing. I'm like, man, that's solid. But, you know, you are inspiration. You are a light. So you, you do got to watch every move, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? If you just the life that you chose or whatever, where it chose you, however you want to look at it. But I would just say this. You know, I think it's... Remember that thing we started a while ago? I think I know where you're going. <laughs> you think it's time? I think, cause, yeah, yeah, cause we're I, running by Ebony, but I think I think it just may be time to just, you know, to to express a different way. We'll just say that. So yeah, yeah, cause I feel like I was talked to Ebony, but I never really talked to a like perspective, a male really perspective. Me, yeah. And I know you are, like you are very very big on family and kids and. Oh, yeah. You know, like sometimes yeah. when I would call you with crazy questions, like, "Hey, can I do this? Yeah, what you think about this? Yeah, like, yeah. see, it, don't do it. Just you know, be patient. Just wait. The right time's gonna come. Yeah. And I feel like I'm just working to have like a peace of mind where I just want to be cool. Like I just wanna. Yeah. I don't hold grudges. I don't like, right, and right. I don't hold hate neither. But it's not easy. Like it's really not easy to look at the father of my kids after five months of all that being said, right. it's not easy. So right. I feel like I'm putting that to the side to just build like a, not a relationship, but like a situationship where we just mm -hmm. cool, like you want to it's see the kids. It's a partnership. Yeah. It's not a relationship, it's not a situationship. It's a partnership. And y'all got, I mean, them kids, what is CJ? Five. Four, four five. And Kaden about to be two. Two. Like his birthday coming up. So am I not supposed to allow him in yeah, the room with? Yeah. You know, I think I, th you know, when I signed y'all, like I believed in both of y'all. I still believe, I still love Corey. I still, you know, what I'm saying, obviously love you. I just know people go through shit. It doesn't justify it, and it don't give it an okay. But I just feel like sometimes, you know, most of the time, time heals all wounds. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just believe that he's just gonna snap back and be like, you know what, I was bugging out, you know, for the shit I did. I think you said he apologized to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so hopefully it's just, I mean, it's fresh. It's still fresh. Again, it's not me okay, but it's just like, okay, I kind of understand. Again, I probably wouldn't understand if I didn't have kids. Right. I really wouldn't. I'd be like, man, nah, but I got kids and, you know, you know, me and their mom and I got into it before, but we, if we fight, we would fight in the backyard and we'd come out in the front yard as unified front. You know, we, we don't, we don't play that because it got to be about the kids. It got to be about your legacy, you know? And um, you know, but I, I'm 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 rooting for you, and I'm you know what I'm saying praying for you. And I'm always here, like you know, ain't no such thing as busy. It's just priority. So if you ever need to talk to me or just need you know more advice or whatever, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I think that thing that we started working on it might be the right time. You think so? I do. I do. I, do. But, I think know, so because so much has happened. So I feel like yeah. it's definitely <laughs> yeah. The rise. <laughs> yeah, I think it's right yeah, not to use it in a bad way, but nah. it's, it's well, you know how you know what you you know how it was expressed in there. It wasn't yeah. bad for it. That's actually what you were saying. Like, nah, I ain't out of everybody telling me what to do. I could do this, but I ain't doing that. Like, I'm trying to keep it cool, yeah. and I salute you too for just never going back and forth with them. You know what I'm saying? Just stand like you know. It, I think you had your moment. But that was just one of them things that was like, yo, you know what, this shit is like, come on, bro. You, you know, pushing don't, it. No, no, no. You could talk about me, but we talk about me being a mother to my kids. No, I you think pushing that, it. That you pushing you're it. Pushing so, it. Hey, you had a human moment. But I think, you know, I do believe, I just, I feel like, I just believe that he going to come around and it's going to be where y'all just be like, you know what, that's water under the bridge. You know, let's just be partners yeah. for these kids. I yeah. think that's it. So you feel like you done done? Like you, like there's no...
Yeah, like, I'm done. Because I'm done in a way where it's like, I don't even see myself mm. being that weak to go back so easy. Like, I'm, I'm just done to where it's like, he's still trolling to now. Yeah. He's not going to stop. I don't know when they're going to stop. Even if we're in good terms, yeah. he's still going to troll. That's his playground. He's, so what kind of stuff is he put? You know, I don't be on social Old pictures. Like it's like everything that he has been posting has been old footage, old pictures. Like, Have you talked to him since Miami or wherever we are, for Atlanta or whatever? Have you talked to him like, yo, bro, what you doing? Type I did because I told him, I said, come on, like you're doing it too much now. If you're trying to, if you're telling me that like, Oh, you you know, you're sorry, you want to do this, and you want to fix this, and that. Why are we on social media doing the opposite? Mm -hmm. You know, but then again, it's like, I mean, Corey is Corey. Corey going to be Corey. Corey you know, like, he's been like this since you met us. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I don't get mad, but I feel like I get mad when they start, like, messing up with what I got going on. You know, because I feel like people looking at me like, oh, you a dumb bitch, like, you so weak, you went back, like, that. Right? But it's like, no, I didn't go back. You know, like, I didn't go back, but I am keeping in mind that, like, well, the sooner that I get this over with with you and we talking, fix this up, the faster I can start moving on, too. You know what I mean? Because I am still healing, of course. I was in, am still processing a lot of stuff and adjusting to my new life. So mm. the fact that it's him just putting it to the side and, I, oh, I was just going to deal with you later or whatever. But in the mix of that, it's like so much other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. It's affecting with, with my work, me, my mental, my me emotionally. Mm -hmm. I even thought about doing counseling. Yeah, I was telling you that, you know, therapy, you know, it, because they say, there's a lot of people that say, you know, that a divorce is worse than a death. Yeah. You know what I mean? They say it's worse. I'm like they, it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> I think that might be good for you. You know, try it out. You know, they say insanity is doing the same thing and trying to expect different results. Mm -hmm. So you, you just, I think you should try something different. It's not going to hurt. Yeah. It's definitely not going to hurt. But it's for the better. It's for the better. You know, just like if you're trying to get fit, you need a trainer starting out. Well, a therapist is a mental trainer. Mm -hmm. So you just got to get, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, like you said, I could just imagine being, how long was y'all together? Seven years. Seven years, yeah. And then you just you know, go from being together every day and then it's like, and you got the boy. So yeah, I think a therapist will really help help you. And hopefully he do the same, you know, go to therapy and just, you know, become amicable. So yeah, so when you gonna start? I'm thinking about it literally like this month. Like, cause I started, I did like two sections last month, mm -hmm. but I stopped <clears throat> because in the mix of me going, I was kind of like open wounds that I was ready to open. Mm, got you. So got you. I was like, okay, I need to fix that with myself. Like I need to control that. So when I do talk about it, it's like, I'm not bringing up like old scars or like it's just hurting me more. And then when I leave, I'm living like more depressed than what I got in. So, yeah. but I do understand that I do have to open old wounds in order to heal. But it's just like, I just gotta do it like. It's you know, no different than, see, it's two type of cuts. It's one type of cut when somebody cuts you to kill you. And it's another type of cut when somebody cuts you to do surgery on you, like a BBL. Mm -hmm. Don't they say, like, people, like, they actually hurt when they get BBLs. Like, they, they stomach hurt. And they, I heard it's like a such thing as BBL depression or some shit like that. Like yeah, it, people, depends, it depends people, how people handle it. They, get, they, they go through, like, this dark phase because mm -hmm. it's hurt so bad. And they just, but then at the end of it, it's a damn near perfect body. So you might have to revisit some of those things. That's the, actually the purpose of it. Like the way you gain muscle, they say no pain, no gain. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like if, if you're you, not feeling it, you ain't gonna gain. Yeah, you ain't gonna gain it. So yeah, you might have to lose to win. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and just kind of feel. Just allow yourself to feel, man. Just yeah. Just feel. Get it over with. The quicker you cry, uh, cry and get it over with, you come back to a homeostasis standpoint. You know, state of being homeostasis mean like you just back like equal now. It's like right now you could be, you know, what I'm saying a little bit low vibrational or high vibrational, but when you let yourself feel, you just come back to like a equal. Like, okay, this is my new life. This is what I gotta adjust to. This is how I gotta move. Yeah. This is what I, I gotta deal with him. This is how I gotta deal with her, whatever. And then that's it. But you know, you a fighter. You know what I'm saying? One thing I respect about you, even from the two house days, you know. We all know the story, but all I know is you stuck with it. Like you, like yeah. man, nah, I put my name on the line. 
we're gonna get I'm, it done. We're getting it done. So I'm like, that girl's a fighter. So, you know, this is no different. It's just, right. you know, different levels, different devils. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, uh, I just gotta, like you said, just gotta allow myself to feel. Because lately, I just, I, be, I avoid my feelings. I just put them to the side. Yeah. Because I feel like on top of me trying to deal with it, it's like, I gotta deal with other people's feelings. I gotta deal with how people is being view because of my situation i gotta deal yeah. it's like how is your i was gonna ask you that like how i mean you know how is you know your dating life like what what do you how are you processing that I well mean, i'm single you yeah. know like i'm definitely single <coughs> i do have an open mind that i want to explore and just see like okay what's, what's out there you know but like in the meantime it's like i'm just not thinking about no relationship i'm not thinking mm -hmm. about having a man attached to me or me being attached to a man like i'm not i'm not in a my mind for that you know and i feel like i already said like put my mind like you're not getting a relationship because if i fall oh man we know you know me like <laughs> yeah. if i fall in yeah. like i'm i'm there a hundred percent so right now i feel like i have set my own goals like even with my mm -hmm. work ethic i want to do better because i feel like i do be slacking at times mm -hmm. like even when i do give my kids like i want to make sure i spend time with them and do quality things mm -hmm. with my kids and i want to do things for myself like i just now start learning like i like to write I like mm. to go bowling. I like to read. So it's like I want to start spending time with myself and just relearn myself because I like to do a lot of stuff that I didn't know I like to do. I love that. So I'm relearning myself for sure. I love that. So it's just it's just a process that I got to deal with it. But it just sucks that in the process of that, like, if I have people that I'm dealing with and that I get affected by it, I'd rather to just not deal with them. Yeah. No, I, I got you on that. I, you know, I know and yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. somebody that may come into my life, they may be ready for kids, family, marriage. and I, Oh, no, that scares me right now. I'm not yeah. ready for no marriage, no more kids. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. You ain't on that right now. Yeah, no, like. What so. are some, okay, so what are some of the goals, whether it be financially, whether it be whatever, I want to, I want to. What's your bucket list before you even start considering another relationship? Oh, I got to put my kids in a house. Okay. I want to put them in a house. Um, I want to get my car because I want to get my car back. Okay. Um, and I definitely wanted to just like get back on my shows, like Carmen's Boot Camp, yeah. Carmen's Click, probably should. So it really is all about Carmen. It's all about Carmen. Right? Which it should be. Yeah, cause yeah. I'm, I feel like when I start thinking about Carmen and a person, it's like, no, like I came out of that. So I can't yeah. put that with that. So now it's like, it's all about karma. This is what I'm doing. Like, if you're with me and you fuck with me, then you just got to be patient with me. You got to bear with me. Because yeah. I feel like whoever comes into my life, all I'm asking for is just, you, you got to be patient. And if it's meant to yeah. be, it's going to work out. If yeah. it's not, in no hard feelings. It's, it's not yeah. that, you know. But I just don't have the right mind. Or I'm not even emotionally what I want to be at to trying to deal with a situation, you know. That part, yeah. So... When they when, when you're on the plane, you know, when they say in the case of in the event of an emergency landing, what they tell you to do, they tell you to put your mask on first and then help the person next to you. So you can't help nobody if you can't help yourself first. And yeah. as long as you honest with, you know, niggas like up front, and I see the thing about you, Carmen, you so lovable. So nigga you gotta you gotta keep in mind, if you say certain things, man, like Dude's gonna take that and run with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you may be, and then it's kind of like, it's funny because it's kind of like the role is reversed. Usually, we have to tell women this shit. Like, we have to say, right. listen, if he say he just wanna be single, he wanna be single. And women are, but it's like the opposite. It's yeah. like, it's like, yo, she said that, but, but yeah, but we spent time and we did. But she's telling you, <laughs> she's telling you, bro. Like, but it's it's hard because you a lot to lose, and everybody love a woman that's been so loyal to a nigga. Because in a man's mind, we like, hmm. Well, if she was loyal to this dude and he didn't treat her a hundred, if I treat her a hundred, she gonna be super loyal. So he, we right. men are conditioned. We want shit now. Mm -hmm. Like we want it now. Like no, I don't care what you talking about. I know you, but. You just got to stay fast and just, you know, stay in your word, man. And like I said, go to therapy. Just all the things that's going to help you mentally. Unfortunately, you may have to take a social media break, you mm -hmm. know, because it's just too much shit coming, you know, post and get off of there. And, you know, but I just think that, um, you know, you're a jewel, man. You're a gem. And so, and everybody see that. So, yeah, they're going to keep grabbing at you. Like, you ain't even got started. What has it been? How long y'all been separated? 
Like five, five to six months. Six months? Oh, wow. I didn't even know it was that long, but... But to be a year, really. Next yeah. thing you know, it's going to be a year. It's going to be a year. So I think, again, to echo what I said earlier, I believe Corey's going to come around and be like, you know what? I think the start was the apology. You know what I'm saying? I just think that he... Corey got a good heart. He just, he going through, you know, he lost his family. And so it doesn't excuse or justify what he's done. But you, thank God you had the grace to be like, you know what? At the end of the day, it's about Caden and CJ, you know what I'm saying? And and I think that if you keep that mindset and just give it to God, man, not to sound, old cor- you know, a corny and old fashioned, but you really got to just give it to God. Then you just got to stay focused on you because yeah. I'm with you. I know if you go, uh, it's, I don't care about no shows. I don't care about no... <laughs> but you owe it to you. You owe yeah. it to you. You owe it to your fans. And you owe, More importantly, you owe it to your kids. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you all they got. You know, yeah. of course they got him and they got... But you know you're going to handle your business to take care of them. So that's right. the only thing you can, you know, focus on. So we salute you, man. And uh, we're on your side. But, yeah, I think, I think that it's time to finish that situation. <sighs> I think so, too. Yeah. It's, it's like you. the perfect time. For it. Perfect time. Yeah, you said it too. You say whenever the right time comes, just trust me, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen for sure. I don't think they're ready for it, but they're gonna not. They're gonna understand more. I feel like, and I feel like, they, I feel like because of what we have planned and what we talk about, it doesn't push me or move me to want to address stuff because it's like it's got it's coming, it's and when coming. it come out, yeah. y'all gonna realize it like. <clears throat> Oh, okay. That's why she couldn't do this. That's why that, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah. But then I also learned myself that I am a private person. Like I really am private. I like to keep a lot of stuff private. Yeah. So now, like I'm just learning how to just still do that. You know, like and not pay attention to people. Oh, you need to say this and you need to say that. Well, Corey's saying this. So what you gotta say about it? Nothing. I don't have nothing to say. I've been proud of you for that too. And it's hard. Because I don't see y'all go back. When y'all was together, y'all yes. going back and forth. I feel like, oh, yeah. my God. But now you just like, yo. I feel like because I'm growing, you know? That's, yeah, that's And saying, well, yeah. some social media is not going to go nowhere. It's going to stay there forever. I don't want my kids to grow up and be like, mommy and daddy didn't. It? No. Man, no. what? That's a real thing, too. Yeah, I that's know. That's a real thing, too. And but. my mom keep me in my mind, too, like. Yeah. Just don't respond like that, that, that. So it's like, I'm not trying to let my mom down, you know, because I feel like I already did. So now with my new, like, life and journey, I'm making her proud in ways that I haven't. So mm-hmm. that's what keep me like, okay, girl, you're on the right path. That's We're doing up. it. That's yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. But I just want to chop it up with you because I barely talked to you. I barely I know, see you. I know, I know. We and I know you be move. busy and but stuff. Now, I ain't no such thing as busy. It's just about priority. So I make you a priority. If you ever need to talk to me, just... You, just Pull me out the clouds. My mama got to do it. My daughter's daddy. Okay, daddy. We ain't went to the movie. We ain't did this. So they, you know, I'm right. used to that. You know, I'm, I'm building an empire ecosystem where everybody can put their kingdom in it. You know what I mean? So that take a lot of sacrifice. But mm-hmm. I'm always here for you. You know what I'm saying? Just like Ebony is and all that. But um, I I just, I'm glad you came to talk to me to get another outside male perspective. Yeah. But a real nigga is definitely going to be pro karma he gonna want you to put yourself first at least right now mm-hmm. then like you said the main thing is patience yeah. you know um some niggas got sight some niggas got vision some niggas got sight some niggas got vision so sight is just damn she cold man i want but vision is like okay if i be patient right now plant this seed of just showing her that i'm here for her it's gonna harvest into something great mm-hmm. you how old are you 25 25 like you young so i get where you at you know what i'm saying Dude, even if you, I mean, you you could be worth a hundred mil in three years, and then you may be like, okay, I'm ready for a relationship. I got my mental straight. I got my finance straight. I know me and my boys straight for life. Now I can think about that shit. Mm-hmm. And again, a real nigga gonna understand it. You're right. They yeah. gonna understand it. You know, you worth that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, just you know, just stay on it, man. And uh, we are gonna get that situation together. Yeah, no, definitely. You definitely it? appreciate you. I know you got stuff to do. No, it's all but good. But I appreciate you for just taking the time to talk to your man. girl. Hey, man, you know I love you. <laughs> I love you more. All right. All right, we're going to get together and yeah, get it popping. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to get it together. All right. <laughs> all right, love you. Yep, all right.